If you remember when we bought our current Boogaboo, our 330 Sundancer, about a year ago, it was extremely rainy and wet. <laughs> so much so that the uh, marina was pretty much underwater. Well, fortunately, we got the boat loaded on a trailer as we had to have it brought home by road, uh, about a four hour trip. The only thing that we were somewhat concerned about was getting the boat home with the canvas still intact. But again, if you follow my videos regularly, you'll recall that we had all the canvas replaced shortly after getting the boat home. Now that said, um, the boat came home virtually unscathed, but there was one item that I noticed, um, and that was the forward hatch, which is right over our bed, had leaked on the trip there. Now, like I said, we had a lot of rain when we were looking at the boat and before we had a trailer home and no water ever came through. So what I did determine was that it was that hatch seal, the, the foam gasket that goes between um, the opening part and then the frame. I just dried out over the years and it was leaking through there and it was leaking simply because the boat was forward into the wind and traveling down the road at about 50 miles an hour which pushed the water through that failed seal. So what I did was order a new gasket set online and replaced it and I'm going to show you uh, how simple that job was. So the first step that I did was simply open the hatch because I had to gain access to the seal which is on the underside of the hatch. Um, the second thing that I did was uh, remove the, the arms that hold the hatch up and that's as simple as, as you can see just a Phillips head screwdriver uh, taking out a wood screw and to get those arms out of the way and the reason I did that is just like I say just to get them out of the way to get at the old seal and get the new one on without those arms hampering me and besides I wanted to clean up everything around there really really good so as you can see I have the arms out of the way and I just simply folded the, uh, the hatch forward and let it rest second step just as simple um, just I pulled the old foam seal off that was just adhered with the two-way tape now once I had the old seal removed I simply cleaned the surface with acetone make sure it's nice and clean and I know there's gonna be some of you guys out there who will caution about using acetone. I've used acetone on many projects, on many boats, for many years and never had an issue with it on painted surfaces, fiberglass or plastic. Um, but just be careful when you're doing it yourself. Now with the surface all cleaned up, it was ready to put the new gasket seal on. And again, it's just a simple, it's a two-way tape, it's already adhered to the back side of the gasket. So it's just a matter of pulling the tape back and pushing down. And see, I started at the back side of the hatch because if there were going to be any potential fail point, it would be there where the piece meets the other end. Just make sure you put that on nice and snug. And then uh, just a matter of going around and pushing it on with firm pressure, making sure it's well adhered everywhere onto the, uh, onto the frame. Now the final job that I did before reattaching the uh, support arms was just to pop out those grommets and give that surface a nice clean as well as the grommets itself and everything just wiped everything down because I can assure you these hatches have never been cleaned in many many years so it was nice to get everything spick and span clean and look at that Ooh. don't forget inside the hole oh beautiful nice nice and clean makes me happy just like that, everything's back together. Climb back inside the boat, close the hatch down, and voila, we're done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, uh, look down in the description, I'm gonna leave the part number, as I had a hell of a time actually finding that gasket seal because I looked all over and there was very poor descriptions of that kit. So I will leave that kit number in the description in case you want to do it and I think it's kind of a one size fits all depending on uh, no matter the size of the hatch as you can see we have three hatches on the bow of the newest Boogaboo so at some point I can be doing the other two as well they don't leak but what the heck right a nice uh, hour-long project to do the rest of them so anyways I hope uh, that you were able to learn something and again a real simple fix to uh, a problem that any older boat might experience over time so that's it Back to boating. Cheers.